everybody I just want to do a quick tutorial on um, doing bows um, I know some of us struggle with this and I, I'm kind of doing this for my granddaughter too because she's started she's nine years old and she started doing wreaths and um, this is just so much simpler to do than a regular old what is it swoop and tie and all that stuff this is really simple you grab it bunny ears right here the wired mesh is the easiest one to work with and then you t twist it like this and pull it through well not quite that far okay then you tighten it down you get it where approximately you want it see I've tightened it down here now I'm going to adjust it to how big of a bow I want and this works really, really well with this type of material if you're doing like for a wreath or something like that and you want to do multi-layers. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, you just arrange it, tighten it down, get it where you want it. And voila, you've got a bow. Then you can tie the base of it off however you want it. But like I said, it works really, really well with multi-layers. And um, let me show you that. I made a, at the thrift store yesterday, I scored big time on some fall colored um, silk flowers that I'm gonna turn into a wreath this fall. I know it's February, but I'm thinking ahead. And um, I made this out of the same ribbon that I just did. This is three layers of it. Let me get it up here so you can see it better. And then I'm just going to tie it or hot glue it to the top of the wreath. You can see it there. Now you can do this with um, other types of ribbon, but the wire wire seems the wired seems to work the best. Now here's some gingham stiff material. This is really hard to work with, and you're really going to have to sit there and adjust it to get it to where you want it. But you know, it. I'm making this one for a hair tie. I've got four granddaughters, and um, you know, you can't have too many hair ties because they always seem to walk off. Now I'm just gonna. This is a button that my daughter got a big, huge bag of buttons for me. I split half of them with my sister, <laughs> and um, I'm still working on this half a bag of buttons, and I've had it for like a year and a half. I'm just going to cut, snip the back off, and let me make sure that's what I want. There's that, or the daisy. Well, you know what, I'm going to make another one, so we'll just do them both ways. I'll do the button for right now. I'm going to hot glue the back, and center it, then on the back of this, I'm going to put a, um, a barrette so when the girls wear their hair and, pig, and ponytails, they uh, can clip it right onto the ponytail. Anyway, there's that one. And let me show you the technique again with this ribbon. This is unwired, but it, it still works well. And you can even do this if you want a big, fluffy bowl, bow. Sorry. Um, use tool. Tool six inch tool works great um, and you can adjust it however you want as many layers as you want and let me get that through there this one's not wanting to cooperate why is it it does this when I'm recording <laughs> and you just pull it and adjust it And there you go. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and um, hope to get a lot of likes. Thanks. Bye.